Hi Aquarius, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for December 2022. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET. IET is a healing modality which can help you to move energy. Uh, I have beautiful things available on my website. Uh, handmade scarves, handmade t-shirts still available. Uh, membership is $2.99 a month and allows you to watch the weekly videos uh, commercial free. Forgive yourself. That is the message. That's what I got. Forgive yourself. Look, I think that's a message that is like, honestly, it could be for all signs, any week, any month. It just came, it really came through. It was like, forgive yourself. You know, sometimes I try to do something and I get it wrong or I, you know, I put my best foot forward and it doesn't work out or whatever. And it's like, I did the best I could do. I did the best I could do with the information that I had at the moment. That's it. And, you know, I think sometimes it's easier, honestly, for me at least, maybe for a lot of us. I mean, I don't think I get these messages and just talk endlessly for nothing. Um. Sometimes it's easier to forgive other people. And then it's like, you know, I don't allow myself the, 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 the dignity or the, I mean, I mean, it's not the dignity. The space to forgive myself. And I think it's super important. I know it is. I mean, I'm just feeling it now. Like, oh, I didn't do it perfectly. Oh. I don't, I, you know, I don't think I do anything perfectly. Forgive yourself. Essentially, it's a beautiful message for all of us. All right. Well, I'm feel. I'm really feeling. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you know, I can't, it's five, it's change, it's a change in passion, a change in like maybe a relationship or loss or something. And, you know, sometimes I could read this card as like, well, and I do read this card, you know, it's, it's a five. So five is about a change of perspective, a change of perspective emotionally. And maybe there's all this disappointment. It's like, oh, I let myself down, but you know what? I still have two cups. I still have two cups. And I could still make them make that clinking sound. <laughs> and the two cups can grow again because this is only the five, you know, it goes to 10, right? It's the five. And it's like, don't get lost in the dark, you know, because maybe you're not seeing the whole picture. Sometimes we don't see the whole picture a lot of times. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. There's a lot of subconscious stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff creatively going on in your own mind. And, you know, sometimes in our lives, it's like, I feel like I'm walking around in the dark, right? But actually I was led by my light I was led by my light. And sometimes, you know, we we say or do things that, you know, uh, seem harsh or seem, I don't know, um, unbecoming, I guess. And it's like it came out exactly the way it was supposed to come out. Worry not, you know, worry not. Look, if it's, I don't know how to say it. Um, let's say you had some sort of weirdness with somebody, right? And you're like, 
if, if they're supposed to be in your life, they'll be in your life. If they're not supposed to be in your life, they won't be in your life. No matter what you did or said or they did or they said or whatever. Right? If, 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 it, if the lesson and the energy is complete, then it's complete. And if it's not complete, then guess what? It'll come back in, in whatever form. So the, this, you know, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. This is about being elevated. This is about evolution of the soul. That's really what this is about. And like, just like I said, and actually when I, I did this card with Scott Allen and his, his thing is like, it's like the cycle of life. The people who are supposed to come around again will, and the ones who aren't supposed to come around again won't. And, you know, it's all a big circle. And, you know, it, it's kind of like the way the uh, the indigenous um, Mexi you know, Mesoamericans understood. This is why, you know, they had this, this understanding of cycle coming back. But just because like a uh, an energy or a an experience comes back again, it doesn't come back 100% the same way. It's a little bit different every single time. And then I have an opportunity to react in a different way, to take a different action, to pay attention, to not pay attention, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's how we evolve, right? By... Choosing to eat the dessert one day and choosing not to eat the dessert another day, right? And some days it's really important to eat the dessert, right? And really relish it. And some days it's really important to say, or some opportunities are sort of like, I don't know, I've had enough dessert today, you know? Yeah, the lesson has been learned, right? You're being guided. And Michael's here too. Michael's really in. So I, I see, I always understand this as Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael is really um, clear, really direct, really uh, no holds barred, really um, shoots straight from the hip. So, you know, it, like I really know and I'm, I'm hearing from Michael because there's none of this like, well, maybe there's no, um, manipulating the message to make it what you want to hear. <laughs> and Michael is also the angel of protection. So sometimes we cut out energy or people or situations in our lives for our own, our own, the protection of our own life. Protection of our own life. Got my whole download today. You're being healed. You're being healed. And healing is a process. I wish you would literally split, but sometimes it's not. So just as a weird example, I had a little stomach thing going on yesterday and it wasn't Mexican food. It was like, you know, Western food. And when I got home, I was like, mm, yeah. or two days ago, whatever it was. Then my guests were here and they had dinner. It was really nice. We had salad, chicken. It was very simple. And that was good. And then I, it wasn't so good. And so today I'm feeling better, but I'm not a hundred percent. I'm really not. And um, I could still feel that weirdness in my stomach. And I don't have as I like, got my 100% energy. And I have to really, really like watch. I, I really have to be very conscious and aware of what I'm going to eat today. Oh, I think I'm going to have some meat and some cheese and you know, mix it all up. And I'm going to have dessert and I'm going to have fruit. It's like, no, no, no. Maybe you can eat really simply today. But I feel like um, you're really in the process of being healed. You're really in the process of being healed. That's what it really feels like. And, and being a sense of wonder of it, being a sense of wonder, it's a new, something new, 
new opportunity is coming out of it. And it's going to lead toward more balance and really You know, it's interesting what I just got. So I always understand, I never really, I, I don't really read cards like, um, uh, I don't really read cards like if the King of Swords comes up, just for an example, it's like, well, you're going to meet a judge. You know, I don't, I don't read like that. For me, like you're the King of Swords. You know, if you come up in the reading, then you're the King of Swords, which is really about discretion, right? But with this card, it's really interesting because it's like, you look at it, you say to yourself, well, am I this one who's not receiving anything? Am I this one just receiving crumbs? Am I this one who's the charitable one? Yes. Yes. So, but it feels like it, it's been switched, whatever it is. So if you're always the one who's giving, 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 then maybe it's time to receive. And if you're always the one who's receiving and or, or taking on everyone else's stuff, maybe it's time to like just witness it. Yeah, but something is switched. So, you know, if you were this one, you're this one. If you're that one, you're that one. Blah, 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 blah. You'll know. Mm -hmm. Toward a new establishment, toward a, a new organization, toward um, something that's more stable, toward um, mimicking I always understand this card as what's ethical as well. And ethics sometimes is, it's not, um, sometimes the most ethical thing you can do is to take care of yourself first, right? But the other thing about this one is like, it's a five, but like, look at this, like triple crown, right? So uh, I always understand it as, as above, so below. So it's almost like there was a hierarchy set up in heaven. And it's like, and then the Pope, who's like God on earth, you know, with the card, it's all symbolism, um, mimics that energy. I mean, that's what the pyramids are, right? That's what the pyramids, that's what the stepped pyramids are in Mexico. It's like this energy, the ziggurat, you know, um, of of the godhead in charge and then the king and the priests below you know it's that it's that energy of um almost like a like a holy organization being mimicked in one's own life right i don't know what to say and um the thing that, you know, almost all uh, ancients and even now, it's like it, it all revolves around that sun. And that sun is what radiates light and um, radiance and nourishing and so da, 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 da. But we all have, we have to be the sun in our own lives. That's the thing. That I think that's what I'm trying to get to. It's like, a lot, you know, that's the jewel, right? You, your soul, that's the jewel. That's where it all stems from. And sometimes we give our power away and it's like, oh, well, you know, Venus or Mars or the earth or Jupiter are more important. It's like, no, they're not. No, they're not. That's sort of what I'm getting. One more. Yeah. So when the healing comes, it's just going to come instantaneously. All right. All right. Swift action, trusting yourself, being guided on a mysterious path, allowing the grief to pass through you, being in a sense of wonder, rebalancing, allowing your subconscious to do the work, being guided by your own light towards your evolution. You're, you, you know, you're being healed by your um, higher self. Michael is here with you. It's like crazy loud outside right now. Um, you've, you know, resurrected toward establishing a new hierarchy. You got the reading this week, I gotta tell you. You're my 11th son, you got like the reading. All right.
Blessings.